one of the best views that you are going to have on Auburn's campus is on top of that War Eagle wall. Absolutely. Talking about the sunset overlooking Beard Eves Coliseum. News that broke this week. A lot of people were anticipating this was coming. And finally, thankfully, when we're, things are slow, something like this breaks. The official announcement of timeline and what is coming for Auburn baseball's stadium renovations for Plainsman Park. I think there's a few, I won't call them surprises, but I think one of the things that stuck out to me was the length that the uh, full renovation is going to take. Some yep. of that's maybe not necessarily what um, fans will experience, players type of stuff and enhancements and renovations that are going to be coming. But we have the full thing. So if you want to look at it for yourself, uh, you can go online to Auburn Baseball's Twitter, really any social media account. And I think there's even an article posted about it too with video to see all that. We're not going to pull that up for you here today, but we're going to talk about it a little bit ourselves. So very briefly, I'll try to give you the gist of what to expect. There are officially based off of this uh, release, Plainsman Park expansion and renovation, eight, we'll call them phases or steps. Uh, number one, the Hall of Fame Club. And uh, number two, the Enhanced Right Center Field Terrace. Those are both for 2024. Step three, phase three, the First Base Club, 2025. The Expanded Plainsman Patio. The expanded interior concourse restrooms and concessions for number five. Uh, six is home plate club. And then the War Eagle wall is also uh, phase seven. Those are all 2025. And then finally in 2025 to 26 is what they're estimating the expanded and renovated team spaces. So when I read this Austin, and when I saw this come across the page, what stuck out to me first was the enhancements for the fan experience, mm. but then the players' experience. Not to say that you know one is more important than the other, but I think they recognize where the need is right now to make Plainsman Park a premier location when it comes to college baseball for fans, for spectators. To make it look, it, it looks great on TV already, but to make it look even better, that's what stuck out to me. When we go went through that right now, or as you saw this week, what stuck out to you about these renovations? Yeah, I mean, like you said, there were some things that a lot of people were anticipating. Um, the War Eagle wall, seats on the Green Monster. Everybody's been asking for that for years. I've been I've been on that campaign too. Like, let's do something with this that literally no one else in college baseball has. Let's yes. make our own Fenway top of the monster seats terrace whatever you want to call it so glad that's finally coming it was really cool to see in the video what that'll look like um i'm already trying to figure out how i'm going to get up there and <laughs> how i'm going to watch as many games as possible from there because I, I cannot wait to be up there when a home run comes up there i mean i think that's going to be one of the coolest things that you can experience and it'll be on the bucket list for a lot of auburn fans um and then you know, I think something that not a lot of people were thinking about. I certainly wasn't um, expecting it. Um, but we've seen it in a lot of the other SEC stadiums that Auburn travels to and and uh, or watches on TV is those those ground level uh, seats. Uh, yeah. what, do, I, what do they call it, Kyle? Um, Hall of Fame. Club? A Hall of Fame club. The ones right behind uh, home plate, I guess, is what you would call it. And then there's also going to be a first baseline club, too. Uh, but I think you're specifically referencing those ones right behind home plate where the action is yeah. happening. I mean, you're like the umpire is 10 yards in front of you and you're you're right there on the ground level. Um, you know, those are going to be obviously premier seats, but I think that's a super cool part of Plainsman Park. It's going to be really weird to see people there and not the brick facade and not the backstop and all the things. Um, but, you know, it's exciting that there's going to be these options for Auburn baseball and Plainsman Park that, uh, while a beautiful and a very underrated stadium uh, has had for so long, that has been one of the best. They're getting these enhancements and, their, and opportunities for fans to come and see it different ways. So it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited about it. And I think there's just a ton of opportunities for how this, how Plainsman Park can be used in the future. Once we get all these things done. Yeah. You hit on a lot of great points there. And I want to kind of, 
use them, but also come back to them in a second. So just as a reminder, for the next season, all you can expect are phases one and two. Uh, the Hall of Fame Club right there behind home plate, and then the enhanced right center field terrace. I would assume, Austin, that includes like the K, the K corner leading over to that, what is still new, center field um, area that's opened up for people to sit behind for free. Uh, back there where the kind of hill goes up and stuff too where the pool parties happen the pool parties that we've asked we need fraternities (laughs) to make this happen if a home run gets hit in there we need y'all to take the plunge no no matter what the temperature is i need that you will get a shout out here if that happens i know some of the fraternities would love to do something like that but so that's what you can expect and this is probably what most of us expected get that right field whatever you're going to have happen situation mainly set up because that encompasses so much of campus a very busy thoroughfare on on donahue drive tiger walk's going to be happening there you really kind of want to show that off and i know there's going to be phases of it that are still going to be finished for the 2025 season but getting some work done for that is going to obviously be a very timely thing to and you understand why they want to spread this out and not rush this so as much as i as a fan wanted this done this year so that next season we are just pumped in plainsman park having all this stuff but i I understand and appreciate the way they're going to do this and take their time to get it right because like you said plainsman park's already beautiful but imagine what it's going to look like in three two to three years let's just say two to three yeah when this is all done just imagine how beautiful it's going to be yeah no absolutely and and the the elements of it will be very different and added um, but things that this program deserves. We've talked about at nauseum how what good of a job Butch Thompson has done for this. And, you know, I don't like to put it this way, but I think that, you know, there's a real feeling amongst people that, you know, okay, once we get through football, then it's basketball. And once we get through basketball, okay, then we'll think about baseball. And so it does, out of the big three, it does kind of feel like sometimes it drops to the bottom. But it's a team that has had a lot of success and a coach that represents Auburn baseball, Auburn athletics, and Auburn University extremely well uh, and deserves a lot of these things that are going to be given to his program. Let's not forget, and we talk about it all the time with football, basketball, any other sport on campus, recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. All these kind of elements that are being added all play into recruiting pitches for Butch Thompson and his staff. So I cannot wait. I think it is going to be super cool to see. I want to talk about that War Eagle wall. You already mentioned it. Oh, yeah. Time. But yeah. here's what I love about these plans. It almost creates two sections of the park. I, I hate to categorize it this way because it's going to sound like I'm saying there's a group of people that maybe are like the well-to-do, the pre- pretentious crowd because they've got all the nice things over there. That's going to be where all the club stuff is and the new – built up part of uh, club seating and stuff like that. But that's, right. you need that because there's a clientele that wants that. Right. But what they are doing is keeping what has made Plainsman Park great and attracting even non-paying ticket fans to come outside tailgate. They're not going to, there, there wasn't in the plans that we thought of until they announced it, to block off any view from the parking deck. But they're adding to War Eagle Wall, and that's going to be part of that general seating situation because it's just two. Yeah. Apparently, it's two terraces up there where you right. have to stand. But I think that's a very smart idea. So that first come, first serve. You want this view? Come and get it. Can we, can we just talk about the view for a second? One of the best views that you are going to have on Auburn's campus is on top of that War Eagle Wall. Absolutely. Sunset on Absolutely. a spring. Just imagine this, Austin. Let me paint the picture for you. Please. Sunset temperature is probably 70-ish, maybe dipping a little Mm. bit lower than that. And Mm. we're just about to throw out first pitch. And you've got, Mm. I don't know if they can, I wish they'd serve Tumor's Lemonade there. If you had that, could you imagine anything better than that? Absolutely not. Uh, You're talking about the sunset overlooking Beard Eves Coliseum. Uh, You know, well, I guess... You'll probably you know, that high. You'll probably still be able to see. I was about to say Beard Eves is pretty tall. You can still see yeah. it up there. You'll see, but Beard Eves Coliseum and you know the maybe off in the distance the new football facility. Um, you know it's going to be the view. You're right. Is going to be incredible. And you're right. You know first first come first serve. If you want it, you better get up there and hold on to your spot because 
Uh, it's going to be very desirable. Those SEC, big time SEC weekends, or talk, like we talked about when LSU came to town, um, you know, it's going to be packed like sardines up there on top of War Eagle Wall of who's trying to get the view. So, um, man, it's going to be super cool. I I wish, like you said, it was coming next year. Uh, I understand why not. We don't need to rush things and we need to make sure it's right um, and safe. Uh, but, I'm excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun when it gets here. I am so excited. So we will eagerly watch the phases as much as I can get to campus. I'll be going by and giving construction updates. So you guys follow us on social media. If yeah, if you're not, uh, when I can get over there and th there's other people that are going to be doing that too. I know Clint does a lot of those type of things too. So follow him too. This is right up his alley with Auburn aesthetics. Look folks, if you haven't go check out the social media posts from Auburn baseball, the uh, blog post, everything that they put out, the videos, and just start getting excited. It's not just 2024, but 2025 and 26 as we watch Plainsman Park become potentially the premier park to be at in the SEC with unique and classic stuff all mixed into one. It's going to be a beautiful thing.